So I went all the way down to the uh, bigger store called Tate's. There's a little tiny version of this closer to, closer to me, but I decided I wanted to go to see the big one. And it's like an actual comic book store. You see all these people toy hunting in. They have all this stuff from the past. You get a little nostalgia for Because all I remember seeing that in the uh, stores. I remember seeing that. That kind of stuff. I started recording the little Power Ranger section. They had uh, single figures. Some of their prices, like the loose stuff, is like the same as they were back when they were first coming out. But, you know, didn't buy them back then for one reason or another. And they do sell comics, but only, mostly all in the back. They had little glass displays of the stuff from China or Japan. And the more valuable things. For some reason, they had a whole pack, the whole set of a uh, Mega Force in the bottom in a bag. Don't know why. Has a little section for the Legend of Zelda. Just a bunch of comics. Bunch of uh, Transformer uh, stuff. They had the big uh, Gundam guy up there. What I liked about the store it was like going into a mini little convention. A uh, bunch of plates for the next generation of Star Trek. They only had, like, two figures of Next Generation. It was a Borg and, I think, the Female Doctor. A bunch of, uh, stuffed animals from Trek. The books and Christmas ornaments. I went in because I actually looked at the Christmas ornament to see how much it was. It's a Deep, it's Deep Space Nine. No, wait, there was when I looked at the ornament. I was looking at a pin set. It was a uh, Spock and Kirk as a cat. Bunch of books. They have a little, had a little section of Star Wars. They're more expensive Star Wars stuff. It's like uh, I saw a toy bill buy the little uh, Boba Fett thing. The little Kari, whatever. The little pop section they had. And the only Star Wars pops I'd want would be the the Grievous. And then the uh, Obi-Wan that just came out recently at Walgreens. But they didn't have those guys. They had a uh, Han Frozen and Carbonite. And a gonk. Poor little gonk was actually broken. A piece of him was falling off. A bunch of the loose figures. And little loose ships from Hot Wheels. They came out last year. A bunch of the loose Episode 3 and Clone Wars era. I did uh, I did end up getting uh, two clones for my car and one clone I didn't have. Then some loose Black Series figures which are the same price as new ones. But none of the ones I want. Here's their vintage stuff, or their more valuable stuff. And two loose pops, just because I guess they bought. I guess they buy collections. A nice little set of the arena from so two. I almost bought that gun again. Uh, muster, bunch of ships. And some cups and stuff. More vintage figures. The uh, more uh, bust and expensive stuff. I had the volume turned all the way down because they had music playing a lot. So this one I really had to do it this way. The recording of the recording. A uh, falcon hanging upside down. The angel, uh, what's its name? Robot, Robocop. Bunch of vintage card figures from Power of Force in Episode 1 and 2 and 3 and Clone Wars. That guy I played with so much when I was a kid, I still have him. It's 
I wouldn't bother buying him, but I played with him a shite ton, that Luke. More ships hanging up there. I'd want the clone ship, but, you know, I'm cheap and probably not going to ever get it. So, like, I double thought buying a $30 uh, Anakin ship, even though I've wanted it since it came out. Bunch of Black Series. I, w I actually walked through the store already once, and I looked through stuff. And I walked back through and looked at this. Here's all the comics they have, the Marvel recently ones. Then I uh, walked through after recording and bought the stuff I wanted. I think something actually funny happened in this section, so give me a sec. I'm going to actually turn the volume up because this is just comics. Yeah, some girl actually men actually said out loud that she's being triggered. Let's see if the audio picked it up. There we go. There's a triggered girl. That was worth turning the volume up. Someone of her, her uh, friend or mother or whatever was of her. Uh, old old uh, Mark 1 mock-up. TARDIS bathroom door. Some posters up there. But her mother said some anime name wrong or something. And she said, Oh, you're making, a you're making me triggered when it's something else. So... That was funny, at least to me. Vintage comics they have sitting up there. Still on the new wall. I did end up buying a couple, but just because I like the cover, I'm gonna read them. I end up buying the I end up buying the uh, paperback versions, all co all collected. Big Pac-Man eating ghosts and Optimus Prime. A little Ghostbuster section. Some uh, children's books. The Incredible Hulk from the movie. The display they had in the, used to have in the theaters. Uh, I've seen a couple people have those guys. They want $10,000 for them. Some uh, How to Train Your Dragon figures. Some more kitty books. Toothless, the one I was looking for, but I wasn't going to pay you 20 bucks for them. That's the only dragon that anybody would really care about from How to Train Your Dragon. More kitty books and some stuffed animals. Some uh, children Disney pops, like uh, Disney characters and that kind of stuff. A Disney display thing for the fancy stuff. Here's a little area for like vintage or statued Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Marvel and DC guys, it looks like. There's also statues, it's like, if you ever go here, they'll actually look around at everything and check twice. Some uh, Ninja, Ninja Turtle area. Remember seeing some of these in the, in the stores and opening up? Never, don't remember that one at all. 
the, the like Asian Ninja Turtles, like they're robots and like that. Don't remember that at all. Like not a He Man. These people were actually looking at the guy was uh, wanting to buy a Shredder statue, but his girlfriend told him it was a waste of money. Some uh, complete out of box vintage turtles for sale. It's like they would love it if I brought my crap in there because I would sell it all to them. But once again, too far away, so I'm not going to bother driving all that stuff down there in my little tiny car. It took me like five trips. And I probably wouldn't get very much Indiana Jones up there. Ooh, sorry for the bad lighting. This is recorded on a phone, by the way, so you want to complain about that kind of stuff. It's on a ZTE, a broken one, actually. The screen's all cracked. Guy thought I was following him. Alien and Predator Skulls. A Transformer slash G.I. Joe little section they had here. Yo, Joe. A uh, little bigger pop section of people. I thought that one pop in there might have been Nick from Mummy, but he's not. I think it's uh, probably Drake from uh, Uncharted, maybe. He's eight bucks loose. One Shrek figure. I remember seeing those when I was a kid. Like, I wanted to buy, I was going to buy the Shrek figure, but then they also had Pokemon Blue, and they were the same exact price. They were, each, they were both 20 bucks. So I bought blue version instead. Some uh, more little pop people. Their little Pokemon section, like really little. One Pikachu plushie, and then some books, and then some of uh, the comics or manga, whatever you want to call them. A uh, big uh, Gundam or Transformer or whatever. This is when I started pausing stuff and just randomly find, recording up I found stuff. It was like in the aisles, like Wonka Bar, po uh, Journal. Some art books from Marvel. If they ever made one, if they had made one for the Incredible Hulk, I might have actually bought it. But not the other ones. That's when I was actually looking to see if that was what was included in there because it's the uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Re Regular Man One, or Iron Man Two. Here's all the statues. They're um, fan They're expensive people statues, that kind of stuff. But they had uh, Regular Man Two, Regular Man, Thor, Regular Man Two, which is Iron Man Three, Ant Man, Black Panther. Winter they didn't have Winter Soldier. And that was it. Probably should have been watching what I was doing, but... I was looking around at people, making sure I wasn't bumping into them, and making sure I wasn't hitting anybody, or getting anybody that wasn't going to be... that was going to start yelling about them being triggered. But yeah, that girl, made, that girl made me laugh a little. Thinking about that. I had to laugh at myself, though. That Ghost Rider looks like the Nicolas Cage one, so I thought that was funny. Little Stellar Moon section they had when you walked in the door. I like the series, but mostly just because I watched the bridge version they did. And I liked watching that. So that's my attachment, quote unquote, to the series. Little Marvel chess people. Like, not chess, like human chess, but like chess as in C H E S S. their uh, manga section. 
Yeah, I didn't think people talk about Trump's hat. Here's their anime section stuff, figures, that kind of stuff, like Naruto and uh, Attack on Titan. I know it's Naru, but eh. But uh, every time people talk about Trump's little mega hat, it makes you think, mega, this stuff? Some uh, plushies. The Majora's Mask or whatever from uh, Link. Here's their Marvel little down cap thing of the select figures and the uh, legends. Didn't have the one I'm looking for. I'll never find them. Oh well. Some loose figures. I actually, actually did end up buying one. Some uh, Marvel Pops. They're uh, bigger guys. And the, uh, what do you call them, one of those dumb things. The big statue figures that you can kind of move around with, but you can't. They cost like 200 bucks, whatever those are called. Someone in the comments will tell me. Here's their little DC section. Start off with the anim Batman Animated Series Universe, or DCAU section. Then the uh, bigger guys, tiny little Suicide Squad people. They're not the... Uh, what those things called the multiverse guys, but they're a little bigger. They stand up a couple inches bigger than them, so you can't really mix the two, which is a shame because they put a lot of the Arrowverse people in there, and those are the kind, those are people I work I was collecting. They had very few loose DC figures, so a lot of people went and tried to sell their Marvel stuff. Not many people wanted to sell their DC stuff. It's so like if I hadn't gotten them off eBay for a decent price, I probably would have gotten Supergirl and Arrow from these things. But see, they have all these guys from the DC Select or whatever. A little DC section of Pops, little other figures and stuff. But they didn't have Multiverse. There's a closer look at the Robocop Angel thing that they had on the roof for some reason. Here's the thing of the statues that I missed. That was kind of standing in front of it. Haha, <laughs> wasn't that observant. Wasn't that wasn't that observant. Can you work security? Shut up. Bad Hawkeye, I'd probably buy him if I was rich, but I'm not rich, so I don't buy that kind of stuff. It's like I could have bought all the stuff I bought or one of these. So, yeah. Try to get the people on the top, but the lighting and all that stuff. So. That's a horse outside. And here's the thing. When I was driving, I decided to go to, since I was out of town, I decided to go to a Target that was out there and look to see if they had, like, the Dragon's Order stuff. I didn't bother recording that Target, but I did see this, and I was thinking, holy crap, this might be opened, because it has cars in the parking lot and everything, but... And the sign was still up. But the cars were for Pet Spark. Or Petco. This is the only kind of reverence thing they had. Yes, we are closed. With a little tongue sticking out guy. They didn't have anything. I walked I walked around the building and there was no like display or signs or toys or anything. The reason why 
I stopped and pulled over. I mean, I don't even know this area very well. I only came down here for that comic store I was feel it was in earlier. Bunch of garbage. But I saw that sign when I was driving to a Target, which I didn't bother recording in, but whatever. And that's why I had to pull in. I was thinking, holy shit. So, that sign, cars in the parking lot. I was thinking, is the Toys R Us still open? But, oh, uh, it wasn't. Just the stuff sign up and all that. I took a little snapshot of the door. I had to take a picture of it. But they put in the door. Sorry, we're, or, we're closed. We are closed. Uh -huh. So, yeah. The reason why I stopped and pulled it. But, the, uh. Just lost the train of thought. Oh, well.